Hey loves, in today's video I'll be creating this really pretty colorful eye makeup using my brand new 35E bright eyeshadow palette that I purchased off of Amazon for $15. I purchased the 5 Bull 35E Bright Eyeshadow Palette off of Amazon for $14.99 with free shipping. Here's a close up of the palette. It is a really pretty rainbow of colors divided into 23 matte shades and 12 shimmer shades. I'm starting off by using my e.l.f. blending eye brush to mix the two matte yellow shades in the palette together and apply them in and above my crease. Now I'm using the e.l.f. eye crease brush which is a smaller dome shaped blending brush. I'm taking that bright orange shadow and applying it directly into my crease. I'm going for more of a gradient effect, so I did bring that orange shadow up, but I brought it up slightly too high, so in the next clip, I'm going to fix it. When it comes to creating gradient looks, for one, it entails a lot of blending, and two, a lot of going back and forth between your shadows to make sure you have a nice distribution of each color. For more precision of those two yellow shadows that I applied first, I'm using my Ruby Kisses C-Curve eyeshadow brush and blending them along the edge of that orange shadow. I'm blending out the edge of that yellow shadow as well as highlighting my brow bone with the matte beige shade using my LA Colors Pro Shadow Shader. To further highlight my brow bone, I'm using my Color Mates eyeshadow brush to apply the shimmery champagne shade right underneath my arch and blend it out. Um, I found with this shade and most of the other shimmers in this palette is that they show up nice dry but they look way better when you wet the brush. Since I will be applying a matte eyeshadow to my lid, I'm first priming my lid with a thin layer of concealer. Now the mattes in this palette, while they're not really dry, they're not that creamy either and I found that working with mattes of that texture, it's best to apply them over a wet base. Using my AOA E113, I'm taking that bright neon pink and first I'm patting it onto my lid and then I'm gonna go over and build it up till it's as bright as I want it. Moving on to my lower lash line, the first shade I'm applying is the second to last darkest purple and I'm using my AOA E115 to blend it right underneath my lashes. With that same E115 brush, I'm now taking this really pretty teal blue and applying it right under that purple. And lastly, I'm finishing off the eye makeup by highlighting the inner corner of my eye with this really pretty gold shade using my e.l.f. small smudge brush. 
The blush I'm using is from my BH Cosmetics Contour and Blush Palette, the first edition palette. And I picked the shade because I thought it went very well with my hot pink eyeshadow on the lid. And I'm applying it using the Beauty Accents Angled Brush. I'm using a new highlighter today. Well, it's been out for a while, but this is the first time I'm trying it. It is the Physicians Formula Butter Highlighter in the shade Rose Gold, and I picked it up from Walmart for $10. I'm applying it with the Basic Beauty Angled Contour Brush. I love this brush for applying highlight. It has that gel to powder texture like the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. That's the best way I can explain it. It, give, it gave my cheeks a nice glow and I really like the product. But can anyone let me know down below if you've tried this product? Um, does it smell like buttered popcorn to you or is that just me? I'm applying the Bite Beauty Amuse Lipstick in the shade Chai. It was part of my free Beauty Insider birthday gift from Sephora. This lipstick feels so comfortable. It has a very sweet scent and the color is just so pretty. Now I'm topping it with the Nikki K Lip Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Cotton Candy. Here's the completed makeup look. I was really excited to dive into the 35E palette and create a colorful look. I'm gonna start playing with more color on my channel and I just really like how this look came together and that lip combo is so pretty. All of the products that I used will be listed down below in the description as well as a link to the 35E palette. Go ahead and drop a comment down below telling me what you thought and until next time, bye loves!